Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be this really soft prom makeup look that I wanted to go ahead and do. And I am using some amazing products today. I am using the brand new Carly Bible Deluxe Edition palette that actually you guys, I love this one way more than the first one. Like you guys have seen me do the look for the cut crease with the other palette. This palette is what I wanted and I finally have it. And this is what it just needed to be. And I love this one if I highly suggest it already. Highlight, it got me shook. Oh my god. These, these are 21 color eyeshadows and highlighters as well. And I'm also using the brand new MAC Laura Lee and Gabriel Zamora lipsticks into this look too. I am going to try to film more videos here very quickly. Just give me a moment. Let me get back situated. Oh, I hope this is an easier look. I did use try to use mostly uh, more cheaper alternatives than the expensive, but I did use some high-end ones as well. If you guys enjoy prom, I thought this look is very, really pretty and simple to wear at prom and very wearable. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, let's get started with the tutorial. Also, before we leave, I also want to say that I'm back brunette just because the blonde is hiding for a moment. Give it a couple months. Give it a couple months. Let's get back into the tutorial. Alrighty guys, so let's start with the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition palette. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is the most amazing palette ever. Look at it. It's gorgeous. Let's start with the priming of the eyelids. I'm just using Soft Ochre Paint Bite by MAC. And I'm going to put this all over the lid, obviously. <laughs> and this is going to be a great base to start our eyeshadows. And I'm going to set that base with these first eyeshadow um, this blonde color from the palette and this is going to be a great base to set everything moving on with the first transition shade I'm going to use this very light peachy tone color um, these don't have names so I'm just gonna go with the description of the name of the color um, I'm just gonna put that in the crease first really blow it out just so you have a good transition going in a little bit deeper with this color and a more steeper Mac brush I'm just going to put that in the crease and blend it all together now I'm going to use this pencil brush and the darker brown shade and I'm going to put this really really in the outer corner and start blending that out and deepening up the crease as well and then I'm going to go with the lid with this beautiful pink peachy rose gold lid I don't know it's so beautiful I love it um, just go over it with a couple times and it'll be great and then I'm going to take that other color next to it which is also new from the palette and then I'm going to put that on the other end of my eye and then I'm just going to blend everything so it doesn't look too harsh and then I'm going to move on with some Inglot black eyeliner and this amazing ass brush that Desi Perkins recommended and look at my wing you guys oh oh my gosh amazing and I'm just gonna do my wing and I haven't done the wing in a little bit and then I'm gonna use the iconic lashes by House of Lashes and then now that we have that done I'm just gonna do my eyebrows with my new Morphe brush that I'm obsessed with it honestly fills in my brows so amazingly and like it fits perfection and I'm going to fill in the brows with the cabral and then I'm going to set my face just for some extra moisturization using the Becca Prime uh, filter uh, primer. There we go. <laughs> and I'm gonna fill it all over my, over my skin. And using these two very thick foundations from L'Oreal. And honestly, this mixture with the primer, it really looked really, really beautiful. It didn't look cakey whatsoever, and I loved it. And then I'm using Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Sand for the under eyes, the nose, the forehead, the Cupid bow, and the chin. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend that with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender. This is one of my favorite beauty blenders, especially from the drugstore. It's amazing. And then I'm going to use some cream contour concealer for the nose. And then I'm going to use my JD80 180 brush to contour my nose. And this is what I do first. I use the cream in order to get a good base for the powders. And then I blend it all out. And then I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D palette. And then I'm going to set the nose contour in place really really blend it out make sure it looks really good and it looks snatched s n a t c h e d snatched and then i'm going to go ahead and set the sides of my nose with the lighter powder just so it makes it look more skinny and small and then i'm going to set everything else just so it looks perfect and then i'm going to use my new morphe brush that i love and i'm going to set the under eyes i seriously don't feel any 
creasing anymore. And then um, I forgot that my camera was off, so I just cream contoured as well. And then I'm going to use this Unicorn Amazing Tarte Brush, and I'm going to use my bronzer shade, and I'm just going to set all the places where I cream contoured. And yeah, girl, how do you like the new background? Do you like it? Do you not? Let me know down below. Yes, girl. And then I guess I just set my under eyes really, really well. And then I'm just going to go back over with some bronzer to make sure it's perfect. And I'm going to use a smaller contouring brush to make sure that's set. And then using another small Morphe brush to really clean up the under contour. And then I'm going to use these two shades right here in the palette for the lower lash line. It's super, super simple. Just push them back and forth and taking these two highlighter shades. Oh, look at this. Yes, bitch. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I am shook. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look how beautiful this freaking highlight is. Look at that. I just piled and piled it on and it just looked more amazing. No texture, no nothing. It was beautiful. Like, I am in starstruck. Like, wow. Look at that. Look how much of, of a glazing donut I look. Yes, girl. <laughs> my approval, girl. My approval. So, next for lips, I'm just going to use the new MAC and Laura Leap a lipstick first. It's a really, really nice nude. I love it. I think it looks so pretty. Um, and then I'm just going to add some Milani setting spray. But I felt like because we were in the orangey tones, I added some of Gabriel Samoa's lipstick, which gave me this look. And this is the whole tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. And I love this look. It's super easy for prom. If you guys recreate it, please let me know and tag me. And I love you guys. See you next time.